Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite the Explosive on Jonas. You're the man on the sticks. I have them. We're playing Madden 19, Crab Knucks. <laughs> well, you know, every crab does have that, I guess. Yep, you need knuckles of a crab. Okay, all right. Uh, we're stationed. We're, we're continuing that Austin Desperados <laughs> relocated Madden 19 franchise. As always, playing offense only and simming that D, D. using a balanced playbook. Yep. So yep. we're uh, we're cruising along strong, man. Are we cruising along? We're dominating. There we we're go. We're desperating. Thank you. Thank you. Was desperadoing a verb? Desperating? Uh, no. Disparaging the teams that we... Disparaging? Yeah, they're disparaging. Oh, now. shit. Yeah. All right. I don't know where desperado comes from, but I assume despair. Uh, probably. Yeah, I don't know. Like a uh, man who causes despair is a des yeah. desperado. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> nice pun. Maybe. All right, so, you know... We got to keep knacking it down, dude. We got to keep knacking it down. Knacking it down. What does that mean? I uh, misspoke. I've never knacked anything do, down in my life. so many times you don't even know. Are you looking in my room when I'm in there alone? <laughs> it's it's knack cam. How do you know when I'm knacking? <laughs> you know, I'm going to start with a little scoop out to Ellis. Oh, yeah, the usual. Oh, hoo -hoo, shit. They got the outside covered. All right. Who we we got to go deep in the center. Who are we playing? That's what she said. Oh, dude. It's uh, it's the Raiders. <laughs> you know whose team that is? That it's fucking traitor Trent Taylor. <laughs> is this Trent Taylor's team? Dude, we are good. I don't even think he plays. He, I think he's like on the bench. He's crying. He's crying. He's like, oh, guys, I just want to be your friends. <laughs> I don't think he wants to be friends. He knows what he was getting into. Oh, shit. The booty. <laughs> oh, oh, God. There it is. Oh, okay. You want to watch what I learned how to do? Can you do this? Watch this. What, what are you doing? Jonas. What is all of that? And you can steal their moves, too. Look. Slow clap, bitch. <laughs> what is this? You mean all this time? Dude, I've been playing Madden for so I just figured out you can showboat and steal their fucking things. You can, like, slow clap. And we shit. have 900 episodes of this on the channel. <laughs> yeah. And you just now found out that you can... Showboat while you're running. Where the fuck are you at, chat? Why haven't you told <laughs> yeah, him? I know, right? Why fucking, haven't you told him that he could do these things? I know, dude. I just happened to be looking up something about Madden, and I was like, wait, is that dude doing a fucking high kick down the field? How the fuck do I do that? <laughs> did we get our extra point? We did. All right, we cool. did. So there is the butt's scoop. The butt was wide open. He had he had scoop, scoop dar on, and he fucking got scoop. Gate 2020. Jonas, those are just random words. Oh, Jesus. We got fucking... Look at this. We're scooping shit right into the end zone. Oh, Ellis. He didn't fell us. Oh, he faked out like a the word scoop. The word scoop has lost all meaning at this point. Oh, uh, dude. We had to do a good episode. We named all the scoops. <laughs> we did every I scoop. I can't, I, can't, I can't talk to you when you do this. Why? Because <laughs> you're just... You're all over the map. Where are you at? <laughs> Can you come down to one area on the map? <laughs> stay there with me for a little bit. <laughs> Scoop dar. See, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm under the weather. <laughs> I just woke up and you coming in. Oh, here. Gary Harry fucking dropping bones on him. You don't nobody's dropping any bones. There's no bones. What bone did he drop? The daddy kind. Did he have a s steak in his pocket or something? <laughs> oh, you know Gary Harry and a steak. <laughs> Listen, I'm the owner, so let me tell you something about Gary Harry. Yeah, he he's steak. straight edge, but he's a meataholic. He's a meataholic. I think most Americans qualify as that, so yeah, yeah, that's not really... I mean, I'm cool with that. You're a meataholic? I am very much into meats. Like, I could see you, like, sneaking steaks. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're like, where's Jonas at? Shouldn't he be I'm, like in the corner just eating a steak him? <laughs> Just fucking <laughs> like trying to hide it from everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you start getting withdrawals. Like I don't know, man. I just I got, just need a sausage or something. I got pepperoni sticks uh, in my pocket. Come on, man. I'd do anything for a kielbasa. <laughs> yeah, I just need a kielbasa in my mouth. <laughs> oh God! Breaking oh, in the Jesus. cold sweat. No, no. He just he just fisted the air. Have you ever had the meat sweats? <laughs> I think, dude. Let me tell you. I think so. <laughs> Oh, dude, because 
Okay, you know how you can go to like Golden Corral. Yeah. And they have like you know it's like it's a really like high end buffet. It has all sorts of shit. Uh, I wouldn't say high end. But oh yeah, damn! Double you. sack, dude. It's mm. higher end than Ponderosa. <laughs> Nobody knows who Ponderosa. Ponderosa has been not, closed for like thirty years. They don't have Ponderosas now. Either? I don't think in Tejas they do. I had, there was a Ponderosa I used to go to when I lived in uh, PA. Really, dude? I would love to go to Ponderosa. It's like the Wendy's or the McDonald's of fucking. This dude shrugged me off like I'm his little fucking brother. <laughs> um, so like, so one time I went there. Yeah. It was like back. Back years ago, like the first time I ever went there. Uh -huh. And uh, I went there for the dinner. And, you know, when they go for dinner, they have like a real grill and the guy's cooking steaks and all sorts of shit. Well, like I ended up like just going. The only thing I ate at the whole fucking buffet was just like meat. Wait. It was just meat and meat and meat and go up and get fucking steak and is then go the, get. Is that when they have like the guy with the hat and he like carves the meat off of the. The, uh, not not at Golden Corral, but there are places like that, which I totally want to go to one of those. I don't, like, think, I don't you, think they do that anymore. They honestly. do it in Vegas, I know. But oh, okay. it, the buffet there is like 50 or $60, but they bring it to your table. And they're like, do you want prime rib? And they like cut it right off the fucking thing under your plate. Yeah. Would you like some more chicken? And like, that's what I want. But anyways, to that story, <laughs> I, uh, I ate nothing but meat, basically, while I was there. I had chicken and ribs and all sorts. But dude, like, when you eat that much meat, like, yeah. it was... Yeah. Ooh. Or if you ever go to like all you can eat chicken wings and you're like, okay, after like 20. What is going on, bubble Ooh. fingers? Yeah, I don't know. I've never had the meat sweats, man. I hear it's a thing, though. So. Like, I don't remember if I exactly did, but like, I had like a food coma of all meat. That's for sure. <laughs> An all meat food coma. Yeah, man. I, I don't know. I don't fuck with buffets too much. I still go to a Chinese buffet. Yeah, I don't do buffets anymore very much. Like, I will do a Chinese buffet. You're absolutely right, because they're good yeah. as shit. Get off of him! Yeah. God damn it, dude. His kid has so much food. <laughs> that guy's kid has more food than I've ever seen, and we haven't stole it off his plate yet. Oh, man. Now you make me want to eat Chinese. You're talking about food on places and buff foods on plates and dude, buffets. Dude, I ate so much pulled pork today that like I don't even want to think about food. No? Oh, uh, dude. I'm sorry because this episode just turned it's into the food into episode. It's just turned into the food episode. All right, when you go to a Chinese restaurant. Kiki Cootie. <laughs> oh, he slapped it out of his Kiki, goddamn hands. Do you love me? I don't do, love Kiki. That's for goddamn <clears throat> sure. When you go to a Chinese restaurant, what is your go-to? If they have General So, that's what I get. Your that's General my So? That's, what about, that's the, my, what about my, a sesame? I'm my favorite... Uh, Chinese food is general, so by far. Oh, bourbon chicken. Bourbon. bourbon chi orange chicken. Eh, it's okay. I think they might be Japanese. Anyway, but yeah, like, I don't know. As far as I can tell, there went to one Chinese restaurant where the general cells and the sesame chicken were the same thing, oh, except one had sesame okay, seeds Okay, I got it. That it. makes sense. But yeah. I don't know. My favorite forever... Uh, Chinese restaurant food is the is the bourbon chicken, but it seems yeah, like no like good. outside a mall place has bourbon chicken. It's only in the mall. <laughs> is that where you are you talking about Ashtabula Mall? And used to any get their bourbon any chicken? Chinese place in the mall always has bourbon chicken, but they never they like never have it like it like like the Chinese restaurant around the corner from us. Yeah. They don't have fucking bourbon chicken. They got bomb Chinese food. Smiley Riley, to what, was the the name, what was the name of that restaurant in the mall? Uh, Asian, Asian Chow. Was it Asian Chow? Like I think that was, but it was oh like C I A O. Like so, it was like Asian goodbye, not like Asian C H O W. Dude, that is. I think it was. Oh my god, that, <laughs> dude! It was a rural, rural predominantly Caucasian community, that's for sure. Oh, let's god. go to Asian Chow and. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I know, dude. It's so stupid. It's like the worst name. And dude, you remember like that family ran it, and they had two like little boys that were twins that would run around, and like they they're there for years, and they were still running around that bitch, and they were like thirteen years old. Like <laughs> it's like we watched them grow up in the mall. That's like, so the true too. <laughs> they were because I remember them running around, little fucking snot nosed brats getting on my goddamn nerves, and then they were like respectable, like children, young like adults. running around doing shit. Yeah, yeah. it was weird. Wow. Yeah, dude, that was crazy. I but no, dude, I, I don't there. know. In the comments, have you ever been to a Chinese restaurant, not in a mall, that had bourbon chicken? Because it seems to be a mall-only thing. Is this a real question? How do you even answer this? I mean, have you ever ha like have you went to a standalone restaurant that had bourbon chicken? I mean, I'm sure somewhere they do. Yeah, I would assume yes. Because, but like, I've never been to it. 
Oh, dude. Because the other answer would be they have it nowhere but in the malls. I, dude, that's... And that can't be. Dude, General So, though, is really good. The yeah. Chinese place right around the corner from us has the best Chinese food I've ever had. Which one is that one? What's it's called uh, First Walk. Oh, they're all over the place. It's it's not a chain. Aren't they? Uh-uh. It's, a Austin, it's an Austin restaurant. Uh-uh. Dude, it is hands down the best I've ever had. And it's funny because I think it's only called First Walk because it's on the corner of First Street. I don't know, man. I think that might be the place where oh, I my- got food poisoning from the bean sprouts. <laughs> Dude, that's what you get for not eating meat. No, fuck that <laughs> bullshit. I should be better off by not eating meat. <laughs> that's the truest thing you've ever I got, said. But... I fucking got bean sprouts, dude, and they were good as shit, and then I wake up in the middle of the night just <laughs> rolling on the floor, just in agony, unable to sleep. You're dead. <laughs> yeah, real funny. I woke up <laughs> I was dead. Yeah, I was I'm laughing. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at... With me? <laughs> but I'm not laughing. It sucked. <laughs> This shit was lame as hell. Yeah, dude. Okay. I had I to work. No. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know, man. So I'm a little apprehensive about What's your go to for Chinese food? Uh right now I go to that Chinese place that's uh on Westgate. Do you know what I'm talking about? No, I mean they're all over Austin. Yeah, but anyway, I don't I don't know. It's like a Chinese buffet. Oh they, yeah, that place is good as fuck, dude. They got sushi the in there big too, right? One. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. place is good. They have these little like it's like these little square cuts of beef. Like in a sauce, they're super good too, man. It's like like ooh. beef tips. Uh, no, they're like flat and square. I don't know. It's like a little hamburger patty type thing. I don't know. They're good too. What? They got chicken wings there. They're super good too. Chinese restaurants have really good chicken wings. I thought you didn't even want to talk about food. You are super into dude, this conversation. Dude, get out of my head with this food. I swear to God, motherfucking. So I go there. I usually get like they have a tofu delight, which is this fucking to die for. All right. They also have a cold tofu dish, which is. Amazing. That's about it. Oh, God. Kiki, what are you doing? How do you love me when you just stopped, Kiki? <laughs> For the most part, I go there because they put, if something has meat, on the sneeze guard. So I know what they I They put can... salt on the sneeze guard? What? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear what you said, so I just <laughs> made that. <laughs> no, you just... Okay, yeah. No, no. I like this narrative. Yes, they put salt on the sneeze guard. No, so, what do they really do? So then? you can just lick the sneeze guard. Oh, uh, dude, I can't To stop taste. Winning. You can taste it? <laughs> no, I mean, like, if your rice doesn't have enough salt, you can just lick the sneeze guard. Yeah, you just and... rub your rice on the on the sneeze guard? <laughs> no, they have, like, if something has chicken in it, they put that on, like, right underneath the name of the food. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that, too. Yeah, yeah so a lot I of places... It's, cool. You would think that would be, like, a pretty standard thing yeah. for any buffet, but yeah. no, it's not. I, there's another buffet down south by where the walmart is and they don't have the name of anything and if you've been to that Chinese they don't buffet, have the name of anything i don't think they have the names dude it's you don't like, even know what it is it's pressure luck it's like <laughs> spin the goddamn wheel they don't even it's, it's just a black tray you reach in and take a scoop out put oh it on your, no, it's <laughs> just like random meat no, just no. mystery meat no but they don't i don't think they have the name it's just like you just have to like you know what it you look at it and go oh that looks like chicken i guess Jonas, did you ever eat the mystery meat in school what was the mystery meat? Nobody knew. No, I assume what, it was, was beef. It, no, no, no. Like what? Like what form was it in? I don't, I don't know. Like the Salisbury. Oh, dude. Quotation fingers. <laughs> <laughs> dude, Salisbury steak in any form is mystery meat. You don't it's, fuck with Salisbury. Salisbury, dude. I used to get those frozen dinners when I was like broke and young, and fucking. Yeah. Dude, you get six patties and the beef sauce. Yeah. <laughs> Hungry man, dude. Those fucking things were like, it, God, yeah. what was the name of it? It was a yellow box. It was like, or no, uh, d- oh, it had the, with the blue ribbon. Yeah, dude. Yeah, <laughs> like they have banquet ones, but I can't think of the Banquets, one. Banquet, but yeah. that wasn't banquet. Banquet. No, was, it, it was, was different. It was yellow box with like the blue ribbon in the corner. It was pro Purdue or some shit. Like you could some- get like the fucking sliced turkey with gravy, and it was disgusting as fuck. Hey, look, I'm not gonna lie to you. That what same is Kiki company. What Cootie doing? Jesus dude, he's Jonas. drunk. Okay, listen. Kiki was out there last night. He was fucking in the fucking cage at the go-go bar. God. Don't want to bring this is that, up about That's it? it? <laughs> that's the end of the story? Yeah, and he was Uh-oh. drunk. He's oh, still drunk. Okay. He's on a bender. He's straight edge from cracks, but he's not straight edge from alcohol. So I'm a Swedish meatball fan. Oh, those are good. So that same company, Swedish Meatballs. You fuck with Swedish Meatballs, uh, huh? I will. I feel like those are mystery meat, too. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it's all beef. 
with quotes. A, a quotation. You got to because yeah, it's dude. like ear, ears and hooves. Yeah, dude. When it's pre-made, like you can make Swedish meatballs at home and they're fucking fantastic. Yeah, that sauce. You ever made good. homemade meatballs ever when you see meat? Mm, no. I made them one time with pork and. Uh, beef and breadcrumbs. It was so good. Uh, it was like sausage. It was like ground sausage and ground. No, no. Oh, dude, it was so good. You know, I have an issue with mixing my meats, man. Mixing your meats? Yeah, I don't want my You're... meat mixed up with other meat. You know? Yeah, but pork and sauce. So- I mean, sausage and beef is like no, j- no, dude. Jonas. I'll make you a cheese dip. <laughs> I'll blow the fucking neck off your head. I just imagine like, like I have a kind of issue with with eating meat anyway, as it oh, is oh, at yeah. this point in my life, but. Fucking like putting like a turkey. I think of a turducken, and the, how disgusting that well, sounds. Well, they just sew extra legs on it. That is weird. But like, you <laughs> well, won't even eat. <laughs> mental image I have whenever I think about mixing pig and cow. And but you chicken. won't even like mix like if you go like a club sandwich where you have like ham and turkey no, and roast beef. I have not eaten a, cu- a cold cut sandwich of that magnitude in so really many like years. even like an Italian sub or something. Absolutely has like pepperoni, not. salami, ham. Wow. Nope. Even if I go to fucking my Subway sandwich, give me the toasted onion teriyaki or whatever. Oh, because it's just it like chicken or whatever. Chicken, yeah. yeah, the chicken teriyaki. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I guess. I, Dude, uh, oh, just, I just imagine like you having like, here's a cup of chicken. Here's a cup of beef. Both oh, of them cooked, God damn, the cutie. And you just mix them together in a bowl and you're just like. Dude, mixing I'm a, the meat and then you just dude, go in there and I'm get handfuls of it. I'm a big fan of, of all the meats. No, this morning, not together. This morning, Jones. I made breakfast tacos. I put sausage, bacon, and ham in the pan, heated it up. Those are all the same. They're all animal. pig. Yeah. Yeah. Then I put then I put egg in it and I put it on the tortilla. No, cheese. see, you added another animal. Yeah, I guess that is a chicken, huh? You added another animal. That's again the rules. No, but, that's actually fine. I guess. All right. Because right. a burger with an egg on it. Oh, fuck, dude. That's like heaven. Red people, Robin. People like to fucking hate on that. Me. And I'm like, you should hate yourself then. Exactly. Oh, my God. Yeah, dude. The first time I ever had that at Red Robin, that was like where I got like my cherry popped. <laughs> fucking. What? <laughs> my, my egg on burger cherry. Oh, not, okay. Not I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> like you lost your virginity in a Red Robin restroom? <laughs> What was it his was, name? It was a weird day. What was his name? Uh, fucking Robin. Uh, Red. It was, the, it was the chicken mascot for Red Robin. <laughs> <laughs> um, show me on the doll where he touched you. Oh, show, show me on the doll. Uh, oh, sh- what the oh, hell? Fuck. Okay. Wow, dude, he just bear crawled and fucking <laughs> snacked the shit. Ellis was fucking scooping. <laughs> That was that's how he crawls into the kid's room and eats the food. <laughs> just what, breaks it down like a goddamn I animal. I figured he was just like fucking shoveling food in his oh, mouth there. God yeah. damn it. Good for him. Yeah, you know, hey. <coughs> yeah, man, it's it's uh that egg on a burger, dude. Whoo, Denny's and IHOP both have a burger that have it's like a burger, a cheeseburger. And then on the burger, it has hash browns, bacon, and an egg. So basically, it's like breakfast on a burger. Oh, my God. Madness jank. Oh, my God. Ooh. There it goes. See, I'm not a big the fan of, of hash browns. <laughs> yeah, but you slow down, down when you nope, do nope, that. Nope. Get off him. Get him big on fuck. Did he get it? On the two. What a fucking jank-ass janker. Be gone, uh, thoughts. Yeah, man. So, uh, yeah, dude, breakfast on a burger. Uh, but that's like, like. Awesome. Is it a hash brown bun? No, they put hash browns on the sandwich. That would be a like uh, the shredded kind, like the like the the little sliver, like you like grate it on a cheese grater. So it's like, oh. dude, it's so good. I don't know about the potato on a bun. Dude, it's a lot of starch. It's on top of the burger. It's yeah. like it goes bun, burger, cheese, hash browns, egg, bacon, bun. So like it's not. Yeah, you don't even notice it. That's a lot of starch. Dude, I would, I'm not, I, look, I'm, I'm starch guy. I'm <laughs> you never put French fries on a sandwich. Never had a panini. Uh, yeah, I guess maybe I have. Yeah, dude. Like, have you? Uh, what about a Polish boy? Are you familiar with this? A, oh, a pole boy? Yeah. Oh, dude, those are good. There's a place I gotta take you if you ever want to eat meat one day. Fucking, it's over on the east side. It looks like the <laughs> jankest <laughs> ass. Those all the spots. Dude, look, I found. I've spots. tapped. I've tapped into his passion. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude. I You're- went to this place. And if you walk in, you look like you're going to get Ebola when you eat there. But, like, <laughs> yeah. their fucking hush puppies are fucking bomb. They're fucking po' boys. 
So um, po' boy is basically a sausage. I think it's made of pork, right? Oh, no. Well, po' boy can be a lot. No, the po' boy I'm talking about, this is like a uh, seafood po' boy. So it has like fish or shrimp and it has like lettuce. And- well, canonically, it's a sausage and you put sauerkraut. No, sauerkraut or coleslaw. Oh, oh yeah. French fries and like. Okay, yeah, that's a Polish sort. boy. Yeah, I'm thinking about a like a pole boy is like a New Orleans like seafood thing. Oh yeah, see, man, I'm not from the south. They're so similar, dude. I, I'm definitely I mean, gonna Yankee Yankee out. Well, yeah, my dude. Polish I'm, boys. I mean, I'm Yankee too, but like this is like I don't, dude. I found this by accident. Like I didn't know it was a thing, and I was like, "What is this? Eat them, yum." <laughs> Jonas, every day you become more and more Austin, <laughs> dude. You know, I did not <laughs> tell like, you. oh, dude, there's a place down the street you can get this, you can get this. Once place. I start talking about where I've traveled to all the time, <laughs> I'm waiting for it, dude, dude. I'll be like, oh, bro, I just got back from Nepal. <laughs> Joe, you are taking a trip, man. I am. I guess I'm, what I'm gonna tell about it. No one. <laughs> I don't believe you, dude. I am you never. Know what, honestly, all right. I was just telling you the story off camera. <laughs> I go I go and play volleyball every week. There's a large group of people. A lot of times, like, 60-plus people show up. We play. And I hear so many people talk about, oh, I just got back from here and there. It's like, and you it's, pointed out, it's an Austin thing, It is dude. a 100% an Austin thing. Everyone, I don't, and anymore, I don't know who to believe. I don't know if they've really traveled, if they haven't. Exactly. I think they didn't. Like, how many years ago did you just get back from Belize, motherfucker? Yeah, right? Like, is everyone. Seven years ago, that doesn't count. Yeah, Sorry. like, really, you've just been, like, broken in your apartment, but you want to tell people that, like. Dude, this something is wrong. They're what? all so high on cracks. I mean, we're winning thirty-five to six. This seems yeah, like right. nothing is wrong all at right, all. All right, all right. I'm trying to give everybody a scoop, man. I appreciate it. But uh, yeah, dude. I, like, I don't know. Like, I think in that one Drake song, he talks about how she takes the pictures and then w- waits to put them on her Instagram when she's like not traveling to make everyone think she's still traveling. Uh, you know what I mean? It's like you like. Mm-hmm. You want to seem like you're cool, like so, and, and that's the cool thing to but talk about. Why, Austin. why is that the cool thing to Dude, talk about? I don't know. Who gives a fuck? Like, really? Like, okay, look, I lived in New York for for years, and I noticed that in New York, it is like people are judged on where you know where to eat. Oh, you know? in New York, that's yeah, how it works. and it's very similar to Austin. But in New York, it's about, hey, do you know where to get the best slice? Do you know where to get the best steak? Do you know where to get the best Chinese food? And everybody can give you something different. And they're all valid, you know, and that's just how they communicate. People do that down here, but it's with travel, I guess. Yeah, dude, but people do the, the thing, too. Like, I know where you can get the best rib sandwich, yep. dude. They that's that. true, too. They do that here, too. Like, I don't. Yeah, I don't care. And you never, I've never really encountered that too much in Cleveland, or not to the degree that I no, encountered dude, in New I'm, York or here. Dude, and I think, I don't know, man. I don't know what it is. <laughs> because we live with a bunch of goddamn yuppies in this town. I guess you know? so. <laughs> like, in Cleveland, no one's like, tries to be trendy. You're just trying to get by. Like, you know a good chicken <laughs> spot because that's where you go because it's good and it's cheap. It ain't because, like, that's where you think you should go. Like, in Cleveland, my electricity's on today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh <laughs> shit! Yeah, my electricity's on. They're too. like, I found a badass burger. It's only four dollars. Like that's that's the kind of shit you do in Cleveland. Like, yeah, man. <laughs> People in Cleveland are just trying to fucking live through the snow that we get for eight months out of the goddamn year. Yeah, dude, you don't give a fuck if it's, it's the too, best chicken. It's too it's cold to business. talk about that shit. Yeah, they're all like, oh, it's it's the best. How much is it? You you got anything cheaper? Because that's what I want. <laughs> exactly. Like, look for something cheap. Yeah, my wife didn't leave me this morning. <laughs> That's right. a Cleveland conversation. My gas is still on. My house yeah, is still Yeah, right. That's a good day in yeah, Cleveland. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> Never I, going back. Dude, I love it so much. No, you, you right. don't. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> And move back there, Joe. Nope. If you like it, nope, move nope. back. I want to go see a Browns game again, but I'll never, I'm never gonna live there again, dude. You never. Want to see? It. I would like to see the Browns win because I don't feel like I've ever gone oh, to the stadium booty. and saw them win. Oh, a little win. Like I've, I used to have season tickets, and I've been to quite a few games. I don't know how many I've seen them win, to be honest. Oh, well, you! If you had season tickets, you were bound to see at least one. I've seen them win a few times, yeah, but not oh, not very often. Yeah, I've never seen them win. Last game I went to was the one Brady Quinn. St- was, it was the first game he started. Oh shit! Was it Thursday night football game? Was there a big lost. group of us? Yeah, you were there. You were there. Todd was there. Yeah, I think there was a. I think like a, we sat way up top in the bleacher. Yeah. Was, yeah, I was so sick, dude. I went home after that. I do game. remember you being. Sick. I went home. I missed like four days of work. Like I was super ill. I barely made it home. Yeah, like I was so. You didn't Ill. even drink that much. I didn't either. drink anything. I didn't even feel like living. 
It was very bad, dude. <laughs> yep, that's Cleveland for it was you right there. Yeah, right? It was coming on as... Oh, God. Yeah, it was coming Sack. on as I like drove up there. I was like, God, I don't really feel good. And by the end of the game, I was like, I'm dead. I don't even think I'm alive anymore. <laughs> and I was. <laughs> yeah, you made it. Yeah, I resurrected. That's a good day. Me and Jesus. It's a good day. Yeah, today was a good day in Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> I made breakfast. It's a great day in Cleveland. <laughs> I didn't lose my life this morning to <laughs> some poor man who God. wants my wallet. Oh, God. <laughs> poor guy. Oh, look at his fucking slickness. His fucking busted okay, face. Okay, Joe. This, you, I'm just going to assume you had a stroke halfway through that sentence. <laughs> I'm just going to see you had a stroke. <laughs> so I, I, I don't know, Jonas. I have lived in a lot of places, and none are quite like Cleveland. And I don't no, mean dude. that as a compliment to Cleveland. Yeah, me too. I've lived in quite a few places, too, and you're right. Cleveland is its own fucking monster. Give me give me your list. Where I've lived? Yeah. I've lived in Ashtabula. All right. Lived so in, Ohio. Yeah. Oh, states? Yeah. Oh, I've lived in uh, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, Minnesota, and Texas. Minnesota? Yeah, dude. That explains so much. I lived in Minnesota for for a year. Oh, you lived in Minnesota for a year. Did you do? You, you don't have the accent. No, nah, dog. They all told me that I had an accent. I was like, <laughs> Oh, you've got an accent. Yeah, yeah, I was like, Oh, I got an accent, huh? Don't you know? Bam, bitch. Oh, give me oh, back my this rock. Fucking children's fucking fruit by the foot box he had in his pocket. How dare you? Who even told him he could touch that rock? Uh, that is our rock. Yeah, th those are our cracks. <laughs> Maybe that's where the cracks is. The cracks is the football because you call it a rock. God damn it. God damn it done? all comes full circle three seasons later. What have I done? Um, yeah, dude. it was Minnesota was good. I Minnesota, mean, it was all right. Yeah, so I lived in Ohio, PA, New York, Florida, and Texas. So you got one more state than I do. Yes. But I've lived in many, many cities in Ohio. I mean, granted, I don't know. I've yeah. lived in like one city in every place. I don't know. I've lived a couple cities in Ohio. Yeah, I lived all around the upper northeast, like the yeah. whole Youngstown yeah, area, the Cleveland area, and then the Ashtabula area. That's like the whole Ugh. corner of the fucking, <laughs> like the worst part of Ohio. <laughs> It's like the part of the fruit that like goes brown first and just like starts <laughs> to decay. It's the part that you usually would cut off before you take a bite of it or yeah, something. Yeah, right? It's like the fucking, or, uh, <coughs> what's the, the stock of the banana at the top that you break oh! off first? Like that little like where it was connected to the tree. Like yeah. that, that, that part. It's it's the darker green part of the avocado that you're supposed to just take oh, off yuck. Yeah, yeah, when it's set out too but you long. Don't, no, dude. But you know, okay, you know what I've always said about Ohio? Yeah. Is Ohio is like four totally very different areas. Like the Northeast is so different than like Cincinnati area, and it's mm -hmm. so different than the other end that's near West Virginia. That's so different than the other end that's near Toledo. Yeah. Oh, and like Columbus is like so different than all the rest. It's like five fucking areas in one state. Because Cleveland is definitely not like Cincinnati or Toledo no, no. or fucking what's what's Athens or whatever's down there by West Virginia and shit. It's not like it. <laughs> I don't even know where Athens is. It's where by West Virginia, basically. It sounds like it, it exists. Yeah, because like, you start to have some bleed over, I guess. From oh, like, the butt! <laughs> no, you don't have bleed over in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Jonas. What are you, 12? <laughs> <laughs> it was I was I'm bringing reference back to like, we are playing a game I'm, I'm well aware but you said I had bleed over in the butt <laughs> and the that butt. If, I don't want you talking about my butt all right oh shit you keep my butt out of your mouth <laughs> I'll always keep your butt out of <laughs> oh Ellis never fell us okay block boy I see you Ooh. okay <laughs> 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 Jonas has had a little mini gas. <laughs> Whew. Anyways, you were talking about Cleveland, I think. <laughs> I don't even remember. At this point, we we about done. We're gonna try one more. I don't more. even remember. Jonas, how you how you feel about Dancing Bear? Uh, I don't know if that is. I guess. All right, never mind then. I mean, I've seen a bear dance before. Yeah. Do you remember that old meme where the bear like got fell out of the, the, tr the tree and hit the trampoline and then fucking hit the ground? No. Yeah, dude, it was an old meme. Was it drawn or was it like a oh, video? Oh, we got sacked. Bullshit. God damn. That's how we end the game. It's all over. We won. 
Trent Taylor, please show him crying. Oh, oh it's his coach instead. Fuck me, dude. <laughs> My Just for Men didn't come in the mail. and <laughs> I died it with Just for Men, but it still was great. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's back to the home for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. F- fuck you, Trent Taylor. Yeah. Is he a real guy? Ass. Yeah. Well, he's a real life player, yeah. Oh, he's, well. Yeah. Fuck him. That is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. While you're at it, keep lying to them, friends, and telling them to check us out, too. It's helping the cause. <laughs> suck my dick, Trent Taylor. Wow. For TNT Dynamite. <laughs> we... Car. Motherfucker. Oh.